welcome to sing and cook my name is chef harpal singh sokhi and i'm going to show you how to make fruit malpua now this fruit malpua is interesting because malpua you know overall it's uh, served in all uh, wedding occasions uh, but during the auspicious month of ramadan it's also made i'm making a innovative version of using some fresh fruits and banana and making a fruity malpua so that you can make it at home when you want uh, to eat in the evening especially when you have uh, uh, fasted throughout the day probably you can uh, you know do some quick recipe that's what i'm showing and uh, for that what we need is now to make malpua you would require uh, about 1 tablespoon of semolina roughly about 1 uh, cup of uh, refined flour about 1 and 1/2 cup of sugar to make a syrup assorted nuts 1 tablespoon very little bit of uh, pinch of uh, baking powder Uh, green cardamom powder about 1/4 teaspoon 1 quarter lemon and then you can have assorted fruits i've got uh, apple i've got uh, plum i've got bananas uh, i've got two of them i'll use uh, one into the uh, mixture and the other one i'll make it in mix it with uh, fruits i've got some dates uh, and uh, for frying you require ghee and of course uh, for making the batter you require milk So all the ingredients in place quickly let's make uh, the batter first so i've got a banana and i'm going to use one banana in goes the banana so this is a beautiful piece of thing that i've bought during my recent visit to australia so i've got this masher this is generally an avocado masher but you could use it for potatoes you could use it for various things and i'm going to keep the bananas that i'm using here i'll keep them a little bit coarse so mashed up refined flour or wet flour as i said probably about 1 cup semolina just to get that gritty feel you know that texture i'm adding 1 tablespoon a little bit of cardamom powder 1 quarter of this baking powder now add milk to make a nice thick batter mix this up well you know people add condensed milk that is rabdi as we call in india to this batter just to make it richer and i have used banana check the consistency leave it for some time let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes in the meanwhile we'll do our other steps of chopping the fruits and creating a stewed fruit and a syrup along with that so let it rest next step chop some fruits you can use uh, fruits of your choice but uh, try to avoid using pineapple apples half an apple with the skin on that's what i'm going to use I like the skin color. Plums into this. I'm going to do a quick solution for this some bananas which i'll actually slice it into thick pieces one banana fruits ready i've got some dates also which i'm going to add later now for the syrup now for the syrup sugar water some rose syrup now this is something which is the difference that i am bringing in to my recipe
now to the syrup dates seedless four to five of them just to make it nice and soft the fruits i will not add banana at this point of time the plums and apples and let this cook until the syrup is little thick now as the syrup becomes thick finally the bananas after adding the bananas i won't cook for long and what i'm going to do is strain the syrup remove the stewed fruits in a bowl and keep both the things uh, aside syrup here fruits another pan ghee for frying wait for the ghee to heat up to the syrup i'm going to add quarter of a lime just to balance the sweet and acidic so as the ghee heats up now check the consistency of my batter this is the consistency i require this is nice thick pouring and a spoonful of the batter i'm going to make it nice and thick and a big one now slowly cook the malpua making it nice and spongy you also need to keep pouring the ghee on top like the way i am doing so that it actually you know cooks from the center also and remains spongy gets caramelized on one side and especially on the edges and that's what i like about malpua i want the malpua to be soft in the center and nice and caramelized on the edges slide off cook the other side i love the caramel color that's also because you've added banana to this so you're getting nice caramel color the center is nice and spongy and that's what i want once it's spongy it absorbs this syrup this is now ready and i'm going to put it in the syrup here in goes my malpua into the syrup allow it to soak for some time now to dish out wow look at this beautiful soaked in syrup and syrup that has been cooked with rose everything stewed fruits that's what i like about this malpua fold this up i'm going to fold this up add the syrup on top all around beautiful some nuts mint sprig for garnish wow look at this fruity malpua this is a perfect family dessert now make two three of them and put it in the center in a big plate and let your family indulge it's going to be awesome happiness across with great recipes only on sing and cook